chapter 21, Mishnah 3. This Mishnah discusses several types of wooden utensils, each of which has a metal part that became Tame. The Mishnah teaches which parts of these utensils are connected to the Tame part and thus are Tame, and which parts are not connected to the Tame part and thus are Tahor. The Mishnah begins with a bow saw, a type of saw that consists of a metal blade attached to two handles. If the blade of a bow saw is Tame and someone touches the handles of the bow saw that are located at either end of the saw, he is Tame because the handle of a Tame utensil becomes Tame along with the utensil. The Mishnah lists parts of a bow saw that are not considered to be connected to its blade. It also lists some other tools whose various parts are not connected for Tuma. The blade of a bow saw is Tame and someone touches the string or band that is attached to the top of the saw, or someone touches the bridge, i.e. a horizontal piece of wood that runs along the length of the saw, or someone touches the dowels, i.e. short pieces of wood that tighten the saw's string, or a person touches the boards of a carpenter's press, in a case where the metal screw of the press is tame, or someone touches the bow-shaped handle of an auger, in a case where the bit of the auger is tame. In all these cases, the person is tahor. These objects are not considered connected to the part of the tool that is Tame, since they are attached loosely and are not attached in a permanent manner. The next Tana adds a similar case, a large saw that is surrounded by a wooden frame. Rabbi Yehuda says, and uh, Rabbi Yehuda says, also someone who touches the frame of a great saw is Tahor, even if the blade of the saw is Tame. Since this frame is not attached to the blade on a permanent basis, the frame and the blade are not connected for Tuma. The Mishnah discusses the parts of an archer's bow. If someone touches a bowstring or bow and the arrow used with the bow is Tame, even if the bowstring is stretched, that is, the archer placed an arrow in the bow and pulled back the string, the person who touched the bowstring or bow is Tahor. Since the arrow is not attached to the bow or bowstring, it is not connected for Tuma. The Mishnah concludes with the law of a trap used to kill moles. The trap is made with an arrow that shoots when a mole enters the trap. A mole trap is Tahor even if a source of Tuma touches the arrow inside it, because the arrow is not considered to be connected to the trap. But Rabbi Yehuda says whenever the string of the trap is stretched and the arrow is placed on it, the trap is considered connected to the arrow. Therefore, if the arrow is Tame, the trap becomes Tame along with it.